Abu Dhabi is the capital and second most populous city of the United Arab Emirates. It's also the capital of the Emirate of Abu Dhabi and the center of the Abu Dhabi metropolitan area. The city is located on an island in the Persian Gulf off the central west coast. A lot is invested in the city and arranged primarily to improve the quality of life of the residents and then to improve the economy and attract tourists from all over the world. Many projects have been implemented and more are planned. But have you heard of one of them aiming to build a nuclear power plant? Haven't you? Then you're in the right place to find out. The 5.6 gigawatt Baraka Nuclear Power Plant, NPP, under construction in the Dafra region of Abu Dhabi, is the first nuclear power project in the UAE, as well as in the entire Arab world. The project is being jointly developed by Emirates Nuclear Energy Corporation, ENEC, and the reactor supplier Korea Electric Power Corporation, KEPCO. It is located approximately 53 kilometers west-southwest of the city of Ruiz. Nawa Energy Company, a joint venture formed by ENEC and KEPCO in 2016, is responsible for the operation and maintenance of the NPP. Construction on the 19 billion pound, $24.4 billion nuclear power project started in July 2012. ENEC installed the condenser in February 2014 and the first reactor vessel, RV, in May 2014. The construction of the Reactor Containment Building, RCB, began in July 2012 with the fabrication of the basement. The construction of the RCB Concrete Dome was completed in January 2015. The construction of Unit 2 began in May 2013, while that of Unit 3 began in September 2014. The first concrete pouring of Unit 4 took place in September 2015. The main concrete works and heavy lifting for Units 2, 3, and 4 were completed by November 2018. The plant is in the final stages of construction of the remaining three units, with the construction progress at more than 93% as of March 2020. The construction of Unit 2 is over 95% complete, Unit 4 is more than 83% complete, and Unit 3 is over 91% complete. The next step of operating the nuclear power plant is the Power Ascension Testing PAT, process which will involve safe and gradual testing of the first unit system to begin full electricity production. Like any other nuclear power plant, this one must have reactors. Who's the manufacturer of such reactors and what is their technology? Let's find out. The Baraka nuclear power plant is equipped with APR-1400 nuclear reactor technology, which was developed by the Korean nuclear industry under the leadership of KEPCO. The reactors are licensed by the Korean Nuclear Safety Regulator, the Korea Institute of Nuclear Safety, and are expected to have a lifespan of 60 years. The Advanced Power Reactor 1400 Megawatt, APR 1400, is an upgraded version of OPR 100, the Optimum Power Reactor 1000 Megawatt, the first standard pressurized water reactor, PWR, plant in Korea. The plant's reactors have been adapted to suit the climactic conditions of the UAE. The reactors have larger pumps, plant cooling, and seawater intake systems, improved ventilation, and a more refined intake screen design. The APR-1400, a Generation 3 Plus reactor, consists of advanced features such as direct vessel injection from the safety injection system, a passive flow regulation device in the safety injection tank, an in-containment refueling water supply system, and systems for severe accident mitigation and management. The reactor features two steam generators that transfer the heat of 4,000 megawatts from the reactor coolant system to the secondary system, producing steam to drive the turbine generator that will produce a net electrical power of 1,400 megawatts. This plant is designed in detail, planned, and carefully built. Even the facility is designed to withstand earthquakes of magnitude 7.0 on the Richter scale. However, despite all that, there is also criticism. In March 2019, Qatar lodged a letter of complaint to the International Atomic Energy Agency, IAEA, regarding the Baraka nuclear power plant, stating concerns about its safety and lack of cooperation with regional states on the project, as well as that it poses a serious threat to regional stability in the environment. The UAE denied that there are safety issues with the plant, stating that Baraka adheres to the highest standards of nuclear safety and security. The completion of the entire project is announced for 2023, of course with previous numerous tests of nuclear consumption. We believe that there will be no delays in the planned period and that the plant will start working regularly when it was planned. 
What do you think about this project? Do you like it? Tell us your thoughts in the comment section below, because we'd like to know your opinion. When you write a comment or critique, focus on the three famous clicks, like, subscribe, and notification bell. Be with us next time and learn more about other amazing projects around the world. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.